Hey, Diana, are you there? Do you have a second to talk? I was just wondering if you knew if Lily was at home right now. Oh, no. She's not at home right now, actually. I think she told me that she was going to the library to go and study or something like that. But it's the weekend. That girl must really like school to be spending her free time studying like that. I remember when I was her age, I always was eager to put the books down and go run outside. Well, that's because our daughter takes more after me than you. She knows how to stay on top of all her classes and get good grades. She really is a smart cookie, that one. I know, she's only in fifth grade. She really is something else. That girl of ours. Although I do wish that she would learn how to let loose and have a little more fun at her age. You just don't get it, Bruce. Girls always grow up faster than boys do. Girls and boys have always matured at different ages. That's just how these things go. Why do you think girls are always so quick to call everything lame and understand trends way faster than boys do? Well, now that you mention it, I feel like Lily has been calling me and wanting to spend a lot less time with me these days. We used to talk all the time before then. I know, but just think about it. Your work has you assigned to this post for the last two years. We miss you, and it's hard having you live so far away. She was going to have to adjust to it somehow, Bruce. Especially since you don't even come over to see us all that often. What do you mean? I don't come all that often. I take all the time off during the holidays to come and visit you all when I can. Isn't that enough? You think that's enough for a family? If you're only there for the holidays, birthdays, and anniversaries, that's still only a fraction of the year. But I'm working every other day, and I live so far away because of the work. I mean, it's not like I choose to work all the way out there, but you know that I'm always using my PTO so I can come visit you both. I'm doing all that I can, Diana. Well, I just don't understand why the both of us just couldn't go and live with you there. I know that you really wanted to, but this was only ever going to be temporary, you know? I mean, if you all came with me, then we'd have to find a new school for Lily. And she would have to make all these new friends. And then we'd just move back to where we were. Well, I suppose you're right about that. I really would hate to put poor Lily through all of that. And I suppose that your post over there is almost over. Diana, I just want you to know how thankful I am for you. This hasn't been easy on me, but I'm sure that it's been even more difficult for you. And I want you to know that I appreciate all that you do. Thank you so much for taking care of the house and for taking care of Lily. What are you even telling me this for? You still have a while before you're even coming back. I know, but I just wanted to get that off my chest and let you know how grateful I am for you. Well, sir, it's been hard for me dealing with Lily all by myself. But it isn't that hard, you know? I think the most difficult thing she and I have had to go through here is whenever a bug comes out and one of us has to get it. And of course, there are times when Lily gets really upset or starts crying, and I have to be there for her as well. <laughs> well, don't worry. You'll never have to worry about dealing with another bug once I'm back there with you two. <laughs> I don't know how we'll manage before you get back. Okay, Bruce, I've got to go and take care of some errands for the day, so I think I have to go. Oh, really? Do you mind if I ask what you're getting up to? I really miss doing life things with you. Just usual boring kinds of things, you know? Anyway, it's your day off, isn't it? Are you going to do anything or just rest at home all day? I don't think I have too many things to take care of today, actually. I'll probably just end up resting. Well, I know you're there for work, but since you're in a new place, you might as well take advantage of where you are and get some sightseeing in, right? I mean, you have a car. You could always go for a drive or spend a weekend somewhere, right? I know that I can do that. I've tried taking little day trips before, but it just makes me wish that I was with you both. <laughs> for the person who moved away from work, you sure are clingy. Do you know that? Well, are you going to blame me for missing my family so much? I really do wish that I was back home already. Honestly, it's really hard for me to enjoy anything these days because I just wish that I was with you guys whenever I do anything. Ah, uh, you're just talking sweet now. Anyways, I've got to go now, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. I'm really serious about that. It's so hard being away from you guys. Okay? I miss you. I hope you have a good rest of your day, Diana. Hey, Diana, are you there? Do you have a second to talk to me real quick? I was just wondering if something happened to Lily. Is she okay? What do you mean, is she okay? What makes you think that she wouldn't be? Well, I messaged her asking if she wanted to call and talk to me tonight, since it's been so long, but she just texted me back that she didn't want to talk to me at all, so... 
Oh, Bruce, what do you think I can do about that? She's going through puberty. She's going to act this way from time to time, you know? You think she's already going through puberty? She's only 10 years old. I thought that didn't start until they got closer to their teens, right? Even if it's true, it really seemed to hit her all at once if she's already acting this way towards me. Well, it's like I said. Girls always mature faster than boys, remember? Right. You did say that to me, didn't you? But does it really happen this sudden and early? Yeah, I mean, I would say that, that it all seems pretty normal to me. I don't see anything wrong with the way that she's been acting at all, really. Well, if you say so. I guess I just didn't think it was going to happen all so fast. We'd already been talking less and less frequently, but now it doesn't seem like she wants to talk to me at all. I don't know. I know that she's probably going through a lot with puberty and all, but it still hurts to be told that, you know? I know it's not fun, but it's quite normal for girls to turn against their dads during this time. I really don't know what you want me to do about it. It's just what happens. Really? You mean, you think that all girls act this way? Because I don't think that she was always like this. I don't really know what you expect after living away from us for so long. Or maybe she's just mad at you because you're messaging her all the time. Asking her to call is coming off as desperate? But I just never remember her talking to me this way. Are you sure nothing's wrong at home at all? I am telling you that she is just getting to that age, and it's all that it is. When kids start puberty, they start to turn against their parents. It really is just that simple. And you shouldn't deny the truth just because you don't like it. Just don't think about it too hard, okay? Why don't you trust what I'm telling you? Well, now I'm just worried about not seeing you guys until I get the time off for her spring break. I don't want her relationship to get any worse before then. Bruce, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Our daughter is already 10 years old, right? You're going to drive her away if you keep worrying about her like this. Wait, she's not already 10. She's only 10. Are you saying that I shouldn't be more involved in her life? We haven't even been calling once a week anymore. This is really hard on me. I think that if you're wanting to call once a week, then you're already asking for way too much. You really need to lower your expectations. But I remember we used to call even more than that before. We used to play games over the phone, and you used to have a lot of fun together. Well, maybe she just doesn't have that much time to spend on you anymore. Who knows? Maybe she might have a boyfriend or something. You really think she's dating someone? Wait, she's only 10 years old. That's way too early for her. I mean, do you just know if that's true or are you guessing? I really don't think it's early for her at all. I mean, she's getting to that age when she'll start to think about boys. And she'll be wanting to spend more of her free time with her friends or with her boyfriend. And that's just natural. I don't even know what to say about any of this. I had no idea that my little girl was going to grow up so fast and I wasn't going to be there for it. So you mean you're not happy to hear that your girl is growing up so quickly? I think it's a wonderful thing. Of course. I'm happy that she's growing up and finding her own way in life. But, I mean, she just seems so young. And I guess that I thought that I would have more time to spend with my little girl. That's all. Well, you should have done more reading about how little girls grow up. I don't know what you want me to say to you. She's just at that age where she is going to want less and less to do with you. And all of that is just worsening because you're not here right now. This is going to be your life and your relationship with your daughter from here on out. And you're just going to have to live with that. I had no idea being a dad was going to be like this. I feel like I barely got any time to be a dad. I think I'm going to be sick. I just feel horrible. Just give it up already and give your daughter some space, okay? That is going to be your only chance to make things right with her. If you can do that and be patient, then maybe... And I do mean maybe you can get things to go back to the way they were. So you really think that there might be a chance if I just do that? I think that it's your only chance if I'm being perfectly honest. And you promise that nothing weird is going on at home at all? Nothing strange at all? Nothing like that. Everything is just fine here. And nothing out of the ordinary is happening whatsoever. Right, okay then. Well, if you really think it's best... I guess I'll stop reaching out so much and calling you guys for a little while then. That's more like it. I'm glad that you're starting to talk some sense now. Right, well, just don't tell her that I'm not talking just to try and win her back over to me. I just don't think that would help me at all if she found out. That's what's going on here. You really think so? Well, okay then, if you want. I won't say anything then. Yeah, I think it would be better that way. Anyways, I guess I gotta get back to work. Okay then. Good luck with everything. 
And just remember that your little girl was always going to grow up. And this was always going to happen, okay? So don't let it get you down so much. Hey there, Bruce. It's been a while, man. How have you been? Are you still working on that assignment out of town? How long have you been working on that assignment now? Yeah, I'm still out here working. The posting was for two years, and I'll finally be going home in about six months. Uh, this whole thing has just been so long. Anyways, I'm really looking forward to going home, but I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Are you scared to go home? I don't understand. Why would you be scared? Because, Mark, my daughter has started going through puberty. That's why I'm scared. If she told me a while ago that she didn't want to talk to me anymore, and I haven't talked to her since. Whoa, what? Did she really say that? Bruce, I'm so sorry to hear that. I know how much you always talked about your daughter in the office. That must be really tough for you. It has not been easy at all. And just trying to figure out what I can do to make her like me again has been really frustrating and pretty upsetting. You know, I have a daughter of my own. And I think it was around the time she entered middle school that she started to not want anything to do with me. You mean it happened to you too? Well, then I guess it's normal for Lily B. I don't know if it's normal. It's just what happened in my case. But I don't think you can say that all people develop the same way. Really? You think people can go through puberty differently? Yeah, I mean, I think the situation might not be as bleak as you're seeing. In fact, the whole reason why I'm messaging you now is because I heard that your daughter was in the hospital. Is everything okay there? Wait, what? What do you mean? She's in the hospital? Well, my wife works at the hospital and she told me that your daughter had been admitted. I guess that she was in some kind of accident or something. Apparently, she was pretty hurt. My daughter was in an accident? What do you mean she's hurt? What was the accident? When did this all happen? I think that she was checked into the hospital yesterday or the day before. You really didn't know anything about this? I don't know what you're talking about. It can't be my daughter. I would have known about that. Bruce, are you okay? Did you really not know about any of this? I know it's pretty hard, but you can't just pretend like this isn't happening. What do you mean? Nothing is happening. My daughter is just fine. I would have known if something had happened, and I haven't heard a word. I mean, I even talked to my wife just a little bit yesterday, and she didn't say a word about anything to me. I know, but my wife said that she's sure it's your daughter, and she's the one in the hospital. Not to mention that she has a really good memory and knew it was your daughter because you used to talk to us about her all the time. Remember? There was that company barbecue about three years ago and you showed us pictures and told us her name. So I think that my wife isn't wrong about this. So then, you're telling me that my daughter is in the hospital right now? That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. But then, that doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't my wife tell me about this? I mean, this is something you'd tell your spouse, right? I have no idea why your wife, or anyone's wife for that matter, would keep this from their spouse. But I think that any good partner would want their partner to know about something like this. Anyway, I can ask my wife for a bit more detail of how Lily got checked in. Right, please do that. So she really wasn't some kind of traffic accident then? I don't really know all the details, but my wife would know for sure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure she said that Lily showed up in the hospital in the middle of the night after being in an accident. In the middle of the night? You've got to be kidding me. What was she doing out so late? What the heck is going on in my house? Was she conscious when she got checked in? Bruce, I'm really, really sorry, but I just don't have the answers for you. I can't tell you anything until I talk to my wife a little. Got it. Well, thank you so much for telling me about this, Mark. I guess I'll tell my company about this and try to get home as fast as I can. Thank you so much for telling me what you know. Yeah, of course, man. I really had no idea that you had no idea, though. Anyways, just be careful getting back here. It would defeat the whole point if you got in an accident on your way over, too.
And if you need me to do anything else for you here, just let me know, okay? Bruce, I feel like I haven't heard from you in a few days. Normally, you at least send me something about what you've been up to. What's up? Is everything okay? What have you been doing? Are you even alive? Oh, I'm very much alive. Thank you for asking. Well, that's good. I guess I was just surprised because you're normally so clingy with me, and I haven't heard from you in a while. Anyways, are you still upset about how Lily has been acting towards you? You could say that, yes. I'm still quite upset about Lily. Right, well, I think you really need to lighten up. There's no need to get so upset about Lily. I think things are going to be just fine. You think things are going to be fine at a time like this? Are you serious? Oh, come on. Don't make such a big deal about things. So she said she doesn't want to talk to her dad as much. It's not like it's the end of the world. It's just a phase that she'll get over in time. That is not what I'm talking about, Diana. I'm talking about the fact that she was in an accident. Wait, an accident? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do I mean? I'm talking about how Lily got in a traffic accident and is in the hospital with serious injuries. But how did you hear about that? A friend's wife works at the hospital where Lily is, and he told me that she's been checked in. It was Mark. Remember him? We met him and his wife at a company barbecue a few years back. Oh, right. I guess that his wife did say something about being a nurse, didn't she? So you knew that she was in the hospital, but you didn't say anything to me? I'm so, so sorry about that. I just didn't want to worry you any more than you already were. I just know how upset you were about how Lily has been acting towards you. And I knew that if you heard that she'd been in an accident, that you would come all the way home. That's why I wanted to keep this a secret from you until Lily got a little better. But why would you keep something like this a secret from me? I mean, she broke one of her legs. You should have told me about this the day that it happened. I know, but I just didn't want you to know why she was out of the house at the time. We got into a little fight, and Lily ran away. I was so mad at her that I told her to never bother coming back home, and I just... I couldn't tell you all of that. I'm so, so sorry. Did you not want to tell me because you thought that I would blame you? Basically. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm so, so sorry about this, Bruce. That's it. I can't take this anymore. Diana, I want a divorce. Wait, what? You want to divorce me? But why? Just because Lily and I got into a little fight? Please don't do this. I know that I shouldn't have hidden this from you, but it wasn't my fault that she was hit by a car. Of course it's your fault. You got in a fight with Lily and told her to never come back home when she started to leave. Not only that, but you never told me that she had ever been hit in the first place. I have no idea if you were ever going to tell me. And I know all about this fight that you two got in as well. You know about the fight? Who did you hear it from? Did Lily tell you? That's right. When I heard that she was in the hospital, I came to see her as fast as I could. I found a room and she told me everything. I really can't believe that you hid all this from me while I was gone. How could you cheat on me? Please don't be upset with me. You don't know how hard it was on me. Why shouldn't I be upset with you? Our daughter knew that you were lying to me this whole time, and you never even said a word to me. The whole reason that Lily ran away in the first place is because she couldn't stand living with you and wanted to leave. And that's how she ended up getting in the accident in the first place. But I didn't cheat on you. That's just something that Lily came up with, but it's not true. And let me guess. You're just saying that because you're sure that you deleted all the evidence that Lily collected on her phone, right? Well, I'm afraid that she already sent them to another friend, just in case you try to do that exact thing. So, you didn't get rid of all the evidence? You're kidding me, right? Not at all. In fact, I have been back in town for a few days, and I've been doing some digging of my own. You haven't even been here to visit me once since she was admitted, have you? You just wanted to be with your boyfriend. He just left our daughter in the hospital with all her injuries. He didn't want me to think that anything was wrong. Please, I'm so, so sorry. I was just... I was so lonely. And you weren't going to be home for long. You have to understand. Just save it. I don't want to hear whatever excuses you've made for yourself. Please, you have to listen to me. I am really telling you the truth. I wasn't cheating on you as such. I've only ever met up with this guy a few times since you left. 
You do believe me, don't you? So, you think I should just be happy that you were having a fling behind my back? That's not what I'm saying, and you know it. If you ever wanted to see someone else, then why didn't you just ask for a divorce? Now even our daughter knows that you were cheating on me. I really am sorry. I never wanted anything like this to happen. Whatever. Don't act like you haven't been talking to this guy for some months now. This isn't some recent thing. You can't just pretend like this whole connection hasn't been there this whole time I've been gone. You even took Lily's phone away when she did find out. And that's why you told me not to contact her, isn't it? I just didn't know how you'd react. And I was so scared. And I just... Please don't leave me. Just save it. I don't want to hear from you ever again. All I care about now is just making sure that Lily is okay. After that, I told both Diana and my parents about what had happened. Once they knew why their little granddaughter was in the hospital, the only person opposed to our divorce was Diana herself. She begged me not to go through with the divorce, but signed the papers in the end. In the divorce proceedings, Lily herself submitted a written statement from the hospital about how she didn't want to live with her mom anymore. In the end, I was granted custody of Lily. It turns out that the guy that she was seeing was someone she knew through work. They had gone out for drinks a couple of times and things escalated from there. The night that Lily found out about the two of them, she had come home early from a friend's house and heard them in the bedroom. I can't even imagine the shock it must have given her. Now that I'm back home, I want to make sure that my daughter has all the right things that she needs to move past this traumatic event. I felt so horrible that I wasn't even there and that I had no idea what was going on. But now that I have my daughter back in my life, I am never letting go.